Guys, I've helped over 700 people start their own Amazon FBA business. Some of those people did really well. They went on to sell, you know, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, $150,000 per month. Other people, not so much. Never went on to sell their first dollar, never got this business off the ground, never did anything with the business model. Same blueprint, same path, same starting point, same business model, two drastically different results. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that is. Now, when you start selling on Amazon, you're gonna run into a lot of common problems. But this problem that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is so common that I guarantee you, you watching this are falling into this problem to some degree, some more than others, but I can guarantee you that if you don't solve this problem, this problem will single-handedly drive your business straight into the ground I've seen it happen time and time again, and I'm making this video so that we can solve this problem all together. Now guys, like I always say with these types of videos where I'm just having an honest conversation with you, I'm just being real. I'm just having a conversation with you and trying to help you go from where you currently are and get you where you wanna go in the fastest amount of time. And these videos, I believe, are my most valuable videos to do that. So I don't optimize these for engagement or likes or comments or anything like that. I just simply wanna tell you how it is, solve your problem so that you can actually make some progress in your business. But if you can't even stick around for a few minute video, then you're gonna be struggling a lot throughout the process and you're gonna to have to learn some of these lessons the hard way. So this problem that people are running into, I'm seeing it more and more, almost to the point where I'm seeing it on a daily basis. Cause I get a lot of messages, a lot of DMs, a lot of messages from clients, from subscribers, from people on Instagram. And this is having strong convictions with a weak ass foundation. And what do I mean by this? So let me tell you a quick story. So back when I first started selling on Amazon, I actually started with the arbitrage model. I started doing retail and online arbitrage and I was having a lot of issues with it. There was no profitable inventory. Amazon was on every single listing. Everything was gated. I was just having a hell of a time getting it started. So then I started looking into private label and I thought, Private label was gonna be the answer to all of my problems. So I go into private label and sure enough, it's a whole mess of other problems. <laughs> and keep in mind guys, I used to be a cop. Just I'm just a regular guy just like you. At the time, no business experience, never sold my first dollar online. Virtually no experience with business or online business. I didn't even know it existed uh, until I stumbled across like Shopify and affiliate marketing and, and um, selling on Amazon. So I had no idea what I was doing and I was not ready to handle the complexities of private label. So at the time I was like, okay, I know Amazon works because all of these other people are doing it, but private label ain't it. I have to find something else. So I started going into wholesale. Now with wholesale was where I really found success on Amazon. But in the beginning, when I first started diving into wholesale, there was no profitable suppliers. Everything was gated. Suppliers didn't want to work with me. And I was just running into a bunch of issues that I was running into with all of the other models, which brings us to the problem that we're talking about today. Strong convictions with weak ass foundations. If you paid attention to how I was talking, I was telling you my story, how I got started, but I was talking in absolutes. Amazon was on everything. There was no profitable inventory. Suppliers did not want to work with me. Everything was gated. There was no profitable inventory to be found. But I also told you I had no idea that online business even existed a few months before that. I had no experience, never sold my first dollar online. So how am I talking with all of these absolute convictions, almost like it is the truth, it is set in stone, that these are absolute facts. When I have very limited experience on the platform, people do this all the time. They come to me, they message me, and I think they expect some sort of empathy or some secret weapon that I'm gonna reveal in the DMs, and they tell me, everything's gated. I, I can't find any profitable inventory. Uh, Amazon's on every single listing. And they talk like it's such a fact. And they don't realize that they're looking at Amazon through a tiny lens because they have no experience on the platform. So let me give you an example to really illustrate what I'm talking about here. Let's say you and I go play basketball. And let's just say I'm a baller, right? I've been playing basketball all my life. I'm really, really good. I have a ton of experience with basketball. Okay, let's just say, but you, you've kind of heard about basketball, but you've never seen it, you've never played it, you've never shot your first shot, you have no experience with basketball, and we go to play, and you take your first shot, 
and you miss. You miss by a lot. So then you start walking off the court saying, basketball doesn't work. It, this is this is pointless. Why am I even going to shoot? It's always going to veer to the left. It's always going to hit the rim. It's impossible to make a basket. And you just walk off saying all of those things. How ridiculous does that sound? That's exactly what you sound like when you have these strong convictions on realistically no foundation whatsoever. Guys, I know Amazon is on some listings. I know there's gated inventory. I know all of these problems exist. I'm not saying that let's just ignore all the problems. But to say that that is an absolute fact in the way that you talk to yourself in that way that everything is gated. There is no profitable inventory. There is no profitable suppliers. That can only hurt you. That does absolutely nothing but hurt your chances of actually succeeding in this business. Because what ends up happening is you get stuck in this self-talk feedback loop. It can work with you and really amplify your results or it can completely work against you. But you see, when you have this weak self-talk that, that is derived from those strong convictions that we talked about earlier, all that is doing is that you're amplifying all of the problems. You already see Amazon from such a small lens. Well, you're gonna fill that small lens with all of the problems because you're so focused on how it's not working out for you in this moment. And you blow up this problem into this problem. And that's all you can see which brings us to the first step in our feedback loop, which is our focus. Because we're only focusing so much on the problems, how it's not going our way, what is not working out currently, instead of focusing on solutions, we are amplifying those to no, to such a high degree that it completely consumes our focus, which is the first step in our feedback loop. Well, because we're so focused on how this is not working to the point where it's taking over all of our thoughts when it comes to this business, it will eventually be done so many times that it becomes a belief. So it started as focus, but then it becomes a belief. And now with this belief that you hold so dear to your heart that this does not work, essentially what you're saying to yourself is this does not work. Well, now you have that belief and that belief is going to influence your actions. And now you are going to start to act and take the actions of someone who believes that this does not work. And if I believe that Amazon doesn't work, do you think that I would be putting 100% effort into something that I believe myself does not work? I've been telling myself so many times that this does not work. Do you really think that I'm going to put all my effort into it? Do you really think I'm going to go above and beyond? I'm going to be putting the extra hours in regardless of the obstacles that I'm facing. I'm going to continue to push, push, push forward because I know that this can work. No, absolutely not. Why would I do that? There is so much friction that I've introduced to the process because I've convinced myself that this does not work. So I'm only going to take actions that reflect that belief. Well, now that I'm taking the actions that reflect that same belief, it will influence my results. So now I am getting results based off of my beliefs, based off of my actions. So now I am getting the result that somebody would get who believes that this business model doesn't work, which is no fucking business, which means I'm not making any money. This is the self-talk feedback loop. And guys, we're talking about Amazon in this video, but you can apply this to any part of your life. The worst part is most people are completely unaware of this feedback loop. They're, they're completely unaware of how their own self-talk is completely running them into the ground. And like I said, you can apply this anywhere. If you are such a negative person and you only focus on all the negative things that are going on in your life and you amplify them to no end, that's going to influence your beliefs. You're going to believe that everything is negative, which is going to influence your actions. You're going to act like somebody who believes everything is negative, who believes the world is out to get them, who believes that they can't catch any breaks. You're going to act just like that, which is then going to influence your results. So now you are getting the results of somebody who thinks they can't catch a break, of somebody who thinks that they can't build a business themselves, of somebody who thinks that these things never work out for them. And now that you have those results, it will solidify your focus and the feedback loop starts over again. And you will never break out of it unless you make the decision to wake up and realize what you're doing to yourself. Guys, you are as strong as you convince yourself to be. You are as weak as you convince yourself to be. 
you are as focused, determined, and persistent as you convinced yourself to be. The world, life, is as beautiful and as abundant as you convince yourself that it is. But it is also as ugly, dark, and scarce as you convince yourself that it is. Because the world is not as it is. The world is as you are. So if you can't check your self-talk at the door, you're going to have a hell of a time making this business work, solving the issues in your life, and really just getting ahead exactly how you envisioned. Everybody starts this business with this grand vision of what it's going to turn into. And the only people who have any chance to actually make that a reality are the people who check their self-talk at the door, amplify their self-belief. The people who can't do that, they never get off the ground. Guys, I've seen this for years. This is so, so common and nobody's talking about it because most people are completely unaware that it even exists. But if you don't check that at the door, you're running this business with a big ass anchor on your back while everybody else is sprinting with no weight. How do you expect to get ahead? How do you expect to make results? You can't. Self-talk is the biggest thing that will influence your life in a positive way and a negative way. Your life right now, as you see it, as you sit, is just a result of the story that you've been selling yourself all your life. If you want a different outcome, you want to completely change, you want a completely different reality, you need to change the script that you constantly keep telling yourself every single day about how things are not working out, about how why this, these things are this way and there's nothing that you can do about it. Self-talk is everything. If you can take control of your self-talk, You amplify how things are working out, how things are going well, what went well today. Guys, I'm not saying we need to ignore the problems. Yeah, Amazon has its problems. But when we have a problem, we find a solution. And we focus and reinforce that things are working out for us, what went well, what things are actually working out for us in our business. And we solve the problems that pop up, but we never allow our self-talk to get negative about what we're doing. As soon as you let your self-talk get negative, things become exponentially harder for you because now you have introduced so much friction throughout the process. Remember guys, the world is not as it is. The world is as you are.